morning, everyone. My name is Leah Klein, health and homeless coach. And my question for you today is, are you a runner? Our verse is Hebrews 12, one and two. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. According to our verse, not only are we all, in a sense, runners, we are all endurance runners. This is not a sprint. This is a long, drawn-out race. <laughs> and there are many things uh, that connect to that. And... But first, before we get into that part of it, let's talk about why should we run. According to our verse, I mean, it starts off with, we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Now, in context, we're talking about Hebrews 11, which is kind of the annals of faith. Uh, that's going through all these examples of faith from the Old Testament, uh, including you know, Abraham and many others. And so that is the witnesses. It's the believers that have gone before uh, are basically kind of seen as watching uh, us and watching how things progress. Uh, kind of the picture that's being painted there. Uh, so we have the example of others. Others are watching. And then the other part of the why that is given us is, the, is Jesus' example, both in Jesus' life and the way he lived his life, but also in what he did for us in dying on the cross and his current reign in heaven, uh, where he's sitting at the right hand of God. Now, all of those are kind of what Paul, possibly Paul, uh, uses to spur us on to greater, yeah, <laughs> greater sacrifice, greater surrender, but what do we need to do so we can run? Not everybody can just go out and run an endurance race. In fact, nobody really should without having first prepared. Um, what do we need to do beforehand? What do we need to get rid of, which is holding us back? There's it talks about laying aside the weight that may be a literal weight uh, you may need to lose a few pounds um, or it can also be a weight of other things uh, anything that's physically or emotionally or spiritually weighing you down is interfering with your ability to run and putting off the sin that clings so closely, whether it's something as simple as eating poorly or eating, overeating, um, or it can be something much you know, more serious than that. But each of us has sins that tend to cling to us that we have to keep putting aside, getting rid of, so that it doesn't interfere with running that race that we are called to run. So think about that as you go through this next week. What are you needing to put aside? What are you needing to put off? 
feel free to post in the comment below maybe something that you want to make a statement that you're actually going to do that you're going to actually uh, put that aside and ask God's help to do that and I will see you next week with another verse and another video see you then